His elbow is high. It is resting as close to the center of his back as possible. <laughs> Hey, it's Cameron with the Atlas Strength Shop, and I am back with Coach Matt for another video. And today, we are going to go over the circus dumbbell. We're going to teach you how to clean this and how to press it. But first, before we get to that, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out a lot. Ready to start it, Matt? Let's go. Let's do it. Whew, that was a long setup. All right, so we got our crash pad and we got our circus dumbbell. These are some old school circus dumbbells. I don't remember the name of the company, because I got these probably third hand. I bought these from a local gym who, got, who bought them from somebody else. I know the company doesn't exist anymore, but they are, I think, uh, I think they're 10 inch globes, either eight, 10 inch globes, I'm not really sure, filled with lead. So you can get these things really heavy. In fact, if you, uh, if you know where I get lead for cheap, please DM me because I've got three more of these I wanna fill up and get to different weights. That's neither here nor there. We're here to talk about the clean and press. So the way you're gonna initial, initiate this is very similar to a kettlebell swing. Or I guess more like a kettlebell clean because you wanna get it to the rack position. So let's go ahead and get into that position. So he swings it back, gets his hips into it, and then it is on his back. His elbow is high, it is resting as close to the center of his back as possible, and he is putting as much of his body weight as he can on the opposite leg. So this way when he goes to press, it's going to take a lot less energy to press this. Unfortunately, because it is a large implement, so much of the weight is away from you. If you lean, you're going to get more of that weight over your center of gravity. So when you do dip and drive, it doesn't go this way. Ready to demonstrate? So typically, these are always going to be some kind of a push jerk. So dip and drive, press across your body, dip under it, and catch it. You wanna demonstrate one more time? So you dip, press across your body. Good. All right, you can go ahead and put it down. Always use a crash pad with this. If you don't have these fancy crash pads, I say fancy, we got them from Titan Fitness. But if you don't have crash pads, a good substitute is going to be a tire with like some foam or a stall mat thrown over it. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to drop these on concrete or the floor of your gym because you will either, if it's a spherical implement like this, you will dent it. If it is a non-spherical implement, like one of the, uh, one of the plate loadable ones, you could break the concrete, uh, you could actually cut the rubber flooring in the gym. So if you have access to a crash pad, use a crash pad. If you don't, use a tire. Let's talk about some of the equipment that is going to come in handy with this. The biggest two that, I, that, that we have seen is going to be an elbow sleeve, just because it is a very awkward position for the press, and we're gonna be able to protect your elbow that way. Plus, you sh if you're lifting heavy and strong man, you're allowed to use elbow sleeve, use your elbow sleeve. The other is gonna be the wrist wrap. This does a couple of things. One, it keeps your wrist stable, but two, and the ones that are cylindrical that you load plates in, that implement is resting against your wrist right there. And if you're not careful, it's going to dig in and it is going to hurt a lot. So the wrist wrap helps protect you from that. Obviously, the other things that are useful are gonna be things like a belt, knee sleeves if you've got bad knees, and I know a lot of people have a lot of success with lifters on this lift. Uh, leaving anything out? Um, so this is, like Cameron said, less of a press and more of a, a hip-driven exercise. Um, so with that being said, yes, having strong triceps will help because it allows you to finish the press at the top, uh, but also equally as important as the hips is your upper back stability. Yes. So if you're not doing any upper back training in preparation for this, you need to start right now. And that goes across the board for pretty much all strongman implements. The further away from your center of gravity, the more you're gonna want that upper back stability in order to help keep your elbow from dropping whenever you do that dip and drive. Yep. All right. So that's it for the video. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Like I said, it helps us out a ton. If you screenshot this, share us to your Instagram story, I'll send you a promo code to get for 10% off any of the apparel that is on the website. 
If you're in the Baton Rouge area, we'd love to meet you. We want to grow our community here. Shoot me a message on Instagram. We're going to make that happen. If you're not in the Baton Rouge area and you still want to support us, there's a few ways you can do that. You can head to the website and check out our apparel or our programming options, or you can click the description below and check out any of the sponsors that help us grow. So until next time, keep that tightened. See ya.